The first poster and images for the upcoming film Parkland have hit the web that you can see here, recounting the chaotic events that occurred in Dallas, Texas on November 22, 1963. Parkland weaves together the perspectives of a handful of ordinary individuals suddenly thrust into extraordinary circumstances. The young doctors and nurses at Parkland Hospital, Dallas's chief of the Secret Service, an unwitting cameraman who captured what became the most watched and examined film in history, the FBI agents who nearly had the gunman within their gas the brother of Lee Harvey Oswald left to deal with his shattered family and JFK's security team. Witnesses to both the president's death and Vice President Lyndon Johnson's rise to power over a nation whose innocence was forever altered. The film stars Zac Efron, Marsha Gray Harden, Billy Bob Thornton, Paul Giamatti, Jackie Earl Haley, Colin Hanks, Ron Livingston, Jeremy Strong, and Smallville's Tom Welling. Dennis, are you looking forward to Parkland? Uh, yeah, it sounds interesting. I like JFK, and I like the whole, you know, kind of dealings and, and mystery about what, what happened. And, and I think this is a different take on it. You're going to be seeing the it from the different perspectives of people who aren't like the main, main uh, operators in the government and stuff like that, or even involved in the conspiracy. Um, the one interesting thing, though, is that the, the director, Peter Landsman, is, this is his first movie that he's ever directed and and it has a lot of you know really good actors in it and and it's a very seems like a very complex story which i think he wrote as well so i'm not sure how he's going to handle this as a fir first time director you know it's funny when you got all the actors in this film that you have including zach efron which you know what zach efron i think is going to be not not to the level of success let me be clear about that, of a Leonardo DiCaprio. But I think he's going to eventually turn into another Leonardo DiCaprio. Because remember, everybody was getting sick of Leonardo DiCaprio. He was the teenage magazine poster boy, and everybody just wrote him off. And then eventually, over decades, we realized, oh, yeah, this guy's actually a hell of an actor. I think we're in for the same kind of thing with, uh, uh, with uh, I, just, I just said his name. Efron. With Efron. I was about to say Zack Snyder, but no, with Zack Efron, um, who, once again, I don't think to the level of Leonardo DiCaprio, but I think we're going to realize this guy's actually one hell of an actor. The funny thing is that despite the subject matter is so rich and you've got such a really good cast, obviously with Paul Giamatti in there as well, um, all anybody wants to talk about online is Tom Welling. <laughs> Smallville's Tom Welling. You, hey, let's, let's just be really clear about this. His name isn't on the poster. <laughs> so when you look at the poster, it's got like the top six people listed across the top. Tom Welling is not there. He's This is going to be a small role for Welling. But I join you, fellow Smallville fans, in being happy that we're going to see him working again. So check mark for that. I'm so excited about this movie. Fun fact, I was born on November 22nd and my last name being Kennedy. I've been obsessed with the JFK shooting forever and have watched hours and hours and hours of footage on conspiracy theories and what could have happened. So I'm really excited to see another take on the story.